Libya is a desert nation to the east of Europe. We are going back in time to about the year 500 to start this unit. We will overlap with many of the things we've talked about already. So, why do we study Arabia? Well, interestingly, the empire that grew here was the one that finally was able to conquer Constantinople after it had survived over 1,000 years. Also, they were able to build their incredible empire in the middle of a huge desert. This is a big deal to us in California and especially here in Riverside. We live in a desert ourselves. Finally, Islam and Arabia are in the news almost every day. Whether it is problems in Israel, Iraq, or Afghanistan, there is always something lately. The more we know about Arabian history, the more we can understand today's events. So, we have to ask just one question. Who are these people? Wow, that was scary. The first highway of history we'll look at is geography, as usual. Geography, remember, is the study of the land. At its height the Islamic Empire covered parts of Europe, Africa, and Asia. It kind of took the place of the Roman Empire and conquered many of the lands that used to be subject to Rome. The empire was huge. Again, it is particularly amazing that they built this empire pretty much in the desert. As they grew, they conquered better areas for farming, but the heart of the empire remained in the desert. It is, of course, very hot there. In Iraq, for example, it reaches up to 130 degrees. Think about the soldiers who are fighting there right now, in full heavy gear. They are going through tough times just for us. They are pretty awesome. Also, because it is a desert, water is very hard to get. Survival anywhere is about water. In the desert, it is even more precious. Oh yeah, time to get my groove on. There are two major rivers that run through Arabia. The Tigris and the Euphrates. These two rivers, while large, are in the northern part of Arabia and don't provide water to most Arabians. Most people in Arabia got their water from an oasis, which is a small spring of water in the desert. The heat and limited water forced the Arab tribes to become nomadic. They couldn't stay in one place for a very long time. A nomad, then, is someone who moves around often. In the case of Arabs they moved to find water. Basically, they would find an oasis, camp there for a while, until it was used up, then pack up everything, and move to the next oasis. Imagine packing up your entire house and family, and moving every month. It was a very harsh life. 